In this video, I am literally going to walk you step by step through what I would believe to be the best passing concept in Madden 22. Now we might be able to get into two different ways to run this, but the first way is by far the best way and it just really will help you break down the defense. And I'm gonna give you, like I said, a couple different ways to run this play. Uh, but this comes to us out of the shotgun bunch formation in the Washington football team playbook. But you can find this in almost every single bunch. I think it's in every single bunch in this game. And it's really, truly, I personally believe the secret sauce of the bunch that not a lot of people have really dove into this year. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. So if you want to learn how to get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's free and we give you free tips and material um, that can help you learn what are the best routes, what are the best defenses, what are the best concepts, how to these all things put together. Also, if you want to take a deep dive into the Gun Bunch, I would really encourage you to get my Gun Bunch Offensive eBook. It's only $10. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. It's available by joining my Patreon, which I said is, like I said, is only 10 bucks to sign up. And it not only gets you access to our Gun Bunch offense, we're actually going to give you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks just by joining the Patreon. Again, there's a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Okay, guys, we're going to be taking a look at my favorite passing play in the game. And just to start, I wanted to talk this through with you. So we're going to go ahead and put 30-yard cloud flats out here, do a little bit of a double babel. And when you're talking about zone, there's really three types of defense in Madden. Um, at least three, three kind of key ways to play defense. The first one is man coverage. Okay, we're just going to play man-to-man, -man, just like basketball, man-to-man -man coverage. The second one is spot drop zone coverage, right? Which is what a lot of people like to use their zone drops for. Now, the, the problem with spot drop coverage we're about to show you is it can only cover up to a certain thing. As you can see here, my flats can only go back 30 yards. So if I have a route that gets over a 30 yard flat, then it's gonna be very effective. Um, so really spot drop coverage um, has been probably the most popular way to play defense in Madden for the last several years, um, at least as a general base, but it's not that good. And part of the reason why is because all you have to do as an offensive mind is basically flood zone coverages, right? Run a corner flat streak or run a run a crosser um, and a flat and a streak, right? High low concepts really can hurt the spot drop coverages. And that's where teams kind of started doing match coverages. And match coverages are essentially zone man-to-man -man defense. It's really a hybrid of the two coverages. And it's where zones can basically ad adapt to routes as the offense puts it out there and so any good offensive play needs to have, be prepared to be able to be man it needs to be prepared to be able to be zone spot drop and it needs to be able to be prepared to be matched now the pinnacle of those three defenses in this year's game in my opinion cover one robbers probably the best man to man coverage you're gonna find cover three mabel is probably the best zone coverage or tampa two mabel and then for spot drop and then cover four quarters is probably the best match coverage you're going to be able to find in this game. And those all come out of the 3-3-5 three, three, wide defense. That's why so many people like this defense. So we're going to walk you through how to run this play against those three primary defenses. Cover one robber, cover four show two, Mike Woods three. Okay? Now, the best play in Madden, at least in my opinion, this year is verticals. A lot of pro players would agree with me. Now, there are several ways to run this play. The setup we're gonna give you today is my personal favorite. And the reason why I like this setup the most is because it takes advantage of this crossing route from the verticals and it gives you a simple way to read the defense and break it down relatively simply. So the play is verticals out of gun bunch. And we want to ideally run this with our bunch, like three receivers, to the short side of the field. Why do we want them to the short side of the field? Because it's going to give this crosser more room to run and inevitably it's going to help the crosser get over the top of a 30 yard flat zone. Let me illustrate. So I'm gonna to go to cover two and we're actually gonna run a cover two, cover three Mabel just by doing this right here. As you can see here, this is basically cover three. 
um, or Tampa 2, if you will. But anyways, now, the only route I want you to watch on this play is the crosser. We're going to build around this in just a second, but watch this crosser. What you're going to see is that 30-yard cloud flat. If I pass lead him straight up and to the outside, you see that he gets over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat. They can't drop their zones any further back. So against a spot drop coverage, we have a route. They basically have to use her all the way across the formation. Now, if they have to use her a route across a formation, what are they going to do? Well, they're going to have to follow it, right? So let's just imagine that this is their user, which it typically will be, and they're going to follow Godwin all the way across formation. Well, now, if you watch, what does this open up in the field? It opens up the middle of the field for us to be able to work the middle. So what I like to do is take Scotty Miller and put him on a smart routed in. And then really important, I actually like to motion him to the outside. And when you motion him to the outside, it's going to do several different things for your offense. Now, if we want to, we can block the tight end. We can drag the tight end. Um, if we're getting pressured, we can walk the tight end here. We can put the tight end on a flat. Um, tight end flat routes are really good this year. And then what I like to do is take the running back and put him on a flat. Why do we want to put the running back on a flat? Because we have two flat routes, what's really good about having two flat routes in this year's game is the two flat routes will pull those double Mabel zones outside and open up the middle of the field. If they put middle of the field zones on, like vert hooks, as opposed to hard flats, then I can throw the ball to the flat. So you see kind of what I'm getting at. So here we go. You're going to see the flat routes pull all the zones out of the middle of the field. And then I can just throw this like anywhere in there. Anywhere in the middle of the field, I can attack with my deep in route. And I just want to go to answer replay and watch how these zones kind of are broken down in this coverage. So what you'll see here is they, they literally have to use her this route from start to finish. And if you watch this route, I could just throw this tight end flat route. Why? I want you to really pay attention here to this. This is a curl flat. Most people are going to use this as their underneath zone. Watch what happens. Whenever you dig a 10 yard in route because it's playing curl to flat or deep to shallow, it's going to follow. See how it follows this in route because we motioned it out? It's going to follow that in route. So guess who's wide open? My tight end is even more open than he already was. So I could throw the tight end right now and be able to quickly um, attack the defense for an easy game. My running back out route is one of the best routes in Madden this year. And what you'll see here is again to the flat. I could throw it right about here, turn it up the field and get about five to seven. But watch out, see how he's pulling this guy out of the way. This is a literal drop nine. We're only rushing two people. Um, you know, this guy right here, I guess, is kind of in the middle of the field but there's a lot of window to throw it right in this little window right here um, because why? Their user has to be with this all the way over the field. If their user goes from here, and let's say he comes down here, now he can't stay with this and this will be open over here. So this is how this play works against spot drop zone. Now I wanna take a few minutes here and explain how this can break down match coverage and man to man coverage with the exact same route combination. So I wanna first start with man, um, because man is simple. It's just man-to-man -man coverage, right? Man everywhere the player goes. So when we talk about man coverage, there's a couple of things that we wanna know. Number one, are they playing press man? And if they are playing press man, is there a safety over the top? If there's not a safety over the top, we might be able to get over the top of the defense. Well, again, same setup here notice that there's no safety over the top so if my guy beats their guy i might be able to hit him over the top especially if he has deep out of lead now again i know i have double me activated but that's just another layer um, of a read that we can uh, put on the field now let's say for example that you know that they are doing something like the following they're going to take this guy and put him in a, in a zone over to stop some of the out routes and stuff and then maybe they're going to take this guy and they're going to put him in a deep zone if they do something like that and let's say you have outside apprentice or hot route master please don't hesitate you don't have to have a streak you can still you can put a skinny post out here and do something like this what's nice about this post route is it really does cook man as you see right there he's 
is open over the top of the defense. So that's another thing that you can do, another layer to kind of force them to have to, um, you know, respect the fact that you can hit them over the top left, and you can also hit them on the post. So really what they need is something like this right here. Now, another thing you can do, let's say that you're watching this, and let's say that you are running, you know, this concept and you have this route to Miller. If you want to leave this wheel out here, you certainly can. What one small recommendation that I would make to you if you want to do that we don't want to we don't want to create another play entirely but what you can do is you can put the running back on a Texas that's going to give you a check down if and kind of force them over the middle the only reason I'm saying this is because this could give you a chance to beat man that way and then you also have the the wheel that has potential if they shade underneath this year wheels do beat man if they don't shade underneath which most people don't then it's not going to be man, okay? So really something like like this, and then maybe backing off this guy is fairly decent coverage uh, for this play. But the problem now is we have a bunch of isolations. And this is what makes this offense so hard to stop. Because we have a bunch of isolations, if we know that it's man coverage, our flat's not really gonna be there for us, but our out route to the left will be wide open. As you can see right there, it's really hard to stop the running back out route from the bunch and really effective to run that. Another thing that we have, and this is where you really wanna put like a slot-o-matic in your slot, or you wanna put some type of route running ability on this guy. And the reason why is because it just helps a little bit when we're talking about man-to-man. And so if they're running man to man, you'll see here that because my crosser has you know, an ability on him, he'll get open. And then notice my dig. My dig will work the whole intermediate intermediate area of the field. That's personally why I really, really like to motion him out. Because let's say that let's say that they put a curl flat defender over here to try to stop the running back. Maybe they do it like this, if you will. And then over here, they need this guy in a third to stop the post. And then now they're going to kind of work, you know, to, to the in route. Well, what makes this play so good is you can, if you want to, snap Scotty Miller while he's moving to make him a little bit delayed. And now your dig is going to get open for a low ball because their user is, has no reason to be over there on that side of the field. So that's how we can break down man to man. Last coverage I want to show you today is match coverage. And match coverage is hybrid man to man. When we motion Scotty Miller out, you're going to see that this match coverage actually will break down because now this becomes a trips formation. It's no longer a bunch formation, it's actually a trips formation. And so because of that, you'll see that this crosser is going to absolutely destroy any kind of coverage that they're going to have on it as you can see right there and another thing that a lot of people like to do let's say that we're running this defense a lot of people like to put this guy in a deep half which is even worse for a situation where we're going to motion this guy out because now you're going to see that this uh this other guy looks like he's going to guard him and then he completely gets out out maneuvered and the route gets open to the sideline Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I feel like this is literally my favorite concept in the game this year. It's basically the Air Raid Y Cross concept. If you want to learn more about the Air Raid, or if you want to learn more about the bunch, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon. My Patreon membership includes all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, including my Air Raid offensive ebook that teaches the core principles of the Air Raid and how to apply them in the game, and also my Gun Bunch offensive ebook that teaches you the ins and outs of the most dominant offense in Madden for the last 10 years. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description below that you can go click on and become a member today.